Good morning, friends. I'm Reverend Carla Leitner, the spiritual director and part of the spiritual team at Unity San Diego. Today is Thursday, June 23rd, and it's a beautiful day here. A little bit muggy and hot, but beautiful nevertheless. Of course, every place is beautiful when we focus on what's right instead of what's wrong. The scripture today comes from Psalm chapter 19, verse 1. It says, The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. So everywhere we look, every place, we can find beauty. Or not. It's our choice. The Daily Word talks about something that really gave me uh, something to think about today. It talked about everything that touches my skin, a loving touch, warmth from a fire, heightens perception and anchors awareness in the present moment. And that brought to mind this little memory from my mom that said, you see with your eyes, not with your hands. Of course, we're going in the store or whatever. And then I've been known to tell my kids that you don't touch, you see with your eyes, not with your hands. But I've never stopped to really think the importance of actually touching something, of actually feeling it, of actually grounding in our humanity by that touch. And while that might not be applicable, this might not apply at uh, when we're going to uh, Claire's with my 10 year old daughter to look at all the girl stuff or, you know, shopping at the sports store with my sons, it certainly brings home to me that this really does anchor our awareness and heighten our perception. And it does really bring us to the moment. And so sometimes I notice that when I need to ground myself, of course I feel the floor, or I might touch a wooden desk, or I might put my hands on the chair. But that act of touching and really feeling has that way of grounding us. And so I, I want to thank the, whoever wrote this daily word because I never really thought about that. And uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Well, I also love this because it says the affirmation is, as I focus my attention, the world around me comes alive. As I focus my attention, the world around me comes alive. Say that with me, please, friends. As I focus my attention, the world around me comes alive. Now what does the world around you come alive to? Does it come alive to lack, limitation? I didn't see very many of this, I didn't see very many of that, there's not enough of this, there's not enough of that. Or, does your focus go on, wow, quality, not quantity, or beauty, not unbeauty or ugliness, I guess. It, I think of also people say the grass is always greener and it reminds me of a green grass and then we have grass that's not been watered. But when you water the grass you're on, it too can grow green. And so when we look at the positivity and the beauty in what exists within us and in our world and in our perception right now, even if we can't really see it well, when we look for it, we'll find it, even if it's a tiny spark. And we can take that spark and ignite it to be a bigger expression of beauty and positivity, to a, be a bigger expression of God. I really love focusing on what's good. And I've been thinking about um, something I'm going to share with those in my recovery ministry and I'll share it with you as well because it's those of us in recovery if we are working our program we're striving to become an example to share our experience strength and hope and I know a fabulous woman named Rhonda who shares her experience strength and hope she um, is close to 20 years clean and sober and she lives her life and walks her talk and she's put aside and worked deeply on whatever was before 
and she is striving to be an example and she's a fabulous example and then there's Debbie or Deborah and Deborah was an example of someone of what happens when you don't work a program what happens when you look at the negative side of life when you you know she ended up having diseases that affected her mind that affected her body because she had that one last craving that one last episode of going out and using or drinking or whatever she did whether it was prescription drugs or not but um, whatever she did it kicked her over the edge where she became an example in what not to do I loved her to death she was my best friend and I did everything I could to try to be an example to her as well however she um, she chose to be an example of what not to be and so we can create our own heaven here like Rhonda or we can create our own hell like Deborah and may Deborah rest in peace and as she moves on in her spiritual journey may she have learned from this earthly experience she had that's my blessing and my prayer for her but knowing that what we focus on we draw into our experience and we can be that place of hope we can be that example that model we can live focusing on what we want to see or we can focus on what we don't want to see and guess what we'll see more of what we don't want to see and it's it's amazing you know when you search on Google and you look for something you're gonna find what you're looking for positive or negative and our minds are like Google aren't they and our perception is what we choose to look at and as this daily word says as I focus my attention the world around me comes alive it comes alive in positivity or it comes alive in negativity it comes alive in what to do or what not to do and it comes alive in our own unique individual ways so when we open our eyes and turn our ears to the divine that God expressing in as and through us that God of our own understanding when we look at the wondrous things in life and if we see a lack in something what can we do to encourage people or encourage things to move from lack into abundance it's so easy to say nah, there's not enough or you know there's not this and there's not that how come or can we say wow there I see a little bit of lack there what can I do to help it move from lack into prosperity or from less to more what can be my part to move this into a positive experience as Psalms 19 1 says the heavens tell the glory of God and when we're living in that heavenly experience when we're living in that positivity and we focus our attention on God and we will see that divine expressing everywhere and then again when we focus on what's wrong we'll see lack so let's look at the heavens let's look at the glory let's look at the beauty and if we look hard and we just see it a tiny bit or we're challenged as to where to find it and if we see and notice that things are not the way we would like them to be instead of focusing on how come and why not and that's just so horrible and yeah 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 let's focus on wow what can I do what is mine to do to move it into a prosperous position to move this if I'm lacking limitation to abundance what can I do personally in my life whether it be an example whether it be encouraging others what can I do so let's take a moment friends to just look at focus what I focus on is what I bring into my life and what I bring into my world we know the universe brings to us that which we focus upon so let's take this take this moment to wheel out breathe and just take this time in some safe and sacred meditation to focus on 
our world coming alive with the glory of God. So I invite you, friends, to set aside anything you're holding in your laps, in your consciousness. All those to-do lists, those worries about what's not happening or what is happening, or just set them aside for a moment. And let's take this time to focus on the beauty of God, the divine expressing through each and every one of us, and especially focusing in our time of silence on what is mine to do. So friends, as we sit here together in this time of meditation in this sacred and safe space, we know that it's so easy to look with lack. It's so easy to look with limitation. It's so easy to look at what is wrong, what is not enough, how come this isn't fair, what's the matter, this is horrible. We can jump on that bandwagon because that bandwagon is pretty full. But when we know within the certainty of our souls that when we focus on expands in our awareness, expands in our life, we take this time to focus on what's right, what's good, what little tiny blessing can I see that I can help expand into an exuberant manifested blessing of the oneness and the beauty of God. What is mine to do, especially when I see something that just doesn't feel right or look right? What is mine to do to open up that expression of God, to help others to see that we are all one? And how can I walk my talk as I focus on what is mine to do, to focus on openness, enlightenment and positivity in the silence. I am. I am a powerful expression of God. I am a positive manifester as I manifest beauty, peace, and what I would love to see. I manifest what I would like to see. I help. I move forward listening to that small voice and what is mine to do. I know what I need to do to flip that switch, to change that channel from negativity to positivity, from not enough to enough, from few to more. As I step out of the worry and fear into the faith, knowing that I am, I am that which I focus my attention on. And as I focus on the world around me, I become alive with the beauty and power of God. And I say thank you Thank you, thank you, God. And so it is, and so it shall surely be. Amen and amen. Let's take a breath. Let it go. Open your eyes as you feel moved to do so, friends. And any time during the day when you feel the need, just take that breath. Listen. Listen for what is yours to do. As each of us step out of our comfort zone just a bit, to make our world a more positive place. Thank you again for joining me today, friends. Have a happy day. Namaste. Bye-bye.